This is a quick, quick, quick little video. I've got an empty container. And I think we got this in the fishing tackle aisle. It's got a rubber seal on it. And this lid clamps down, so it's going to be very much airtight. I've got three regular kitchen sponges in here. I trimmed them just a little bit to fit, so they'd be easier to get out. The next thing I'm doing is I had a dollar bottle of Elmer's washable school gel. And I thought, what better way to use it? Put the whole bottle in this container. Oops, try not to make a mess. Now what we're doing is making a glue pad. I read about this on a school column, art teacher. And she said it was an excellent way to avoid the mess and the expense of glue sticks. The sponges stay wet. It stays good for a really long time. And that's what I'm doing. It would have been good, maybe, to put the, the glue down in layers. Can you see here, going back to the bottom. The directions I read said to use an entire bottle. It may turn out that two sponges was plenty, but we'll see what happens. These sponges were already expanded. They're just regular kitchen sponges. that thing is full. So I'm going to let it sit there. We're going to go to lunch. I wanted my sponge to be a little bit at least flush so it'd be easier to swipe paper across it for collage. But grand experiments. We'll see how much the actual sponge soaks up when I get back from lunch. Yeah, I know this probably isn't in PVA, but it's got to be some kind of PVA. Once it dries, it's got to be the same. safe and non-toxic. And there you have it. I'll be back after a while. Well, hello. I'm back again. I let my glue sponge sit overnight. And, <coughs> um, and then I added the rest of the bottle. It was almost empty. But this is really wet and squishy. And I may take this top sponge out and discard it because it tends to overflow when it's compressed, but we'll see. It's kind of nice to be able to have, kind of, to not have to go into the bucket. I can stay on top of it. And the other thing I did was spritzed it with a little bit of water. And if it starts to smell, which most people say it doesn't, but if it gets bacteria or something like that in it, tea tree oil or 
shoot, what was the other one? I can't remember what the other one is, but an antibacterial um, something would well, something, yeah. Um, and remember, this is gel glue. No run gel. I ha got it for a dollar. So I'm getting the rest of that out. And I'm going to try it right now. Well, I did try it already. I put two pieces of paper in this junk journal, and it worked beautifully. No wrinkles other than the ones that were already there. It stuck tight, so this is going to be great. What I can do is come back. I'm trying to get my lighting adjusted a little bit. Um, it'll make it real easy to come back with matte medium and any little pieces that are sticking up can be easily stuck down. But I think this is going to be a real good plan for journaling by fives when you have 15 minutes and you don't have time to mess with matte media. Matte medium. So, here we go. I'm going to quit being silly and we're going to see if the... I wish I could get that in the... I want to get that in the screen. I don't think I'm zoomed. Nope. I want this to be in the in the picture. Move the shoe polish. If I can leave it right like that, we'll be we'll be in fine shape. <laughs> 